My starting point for this trip was West Yellowstone. Grand Teton National Park is only 10 miles south of Yellowstone National Park, to which it is connected by the National Park Service managed John D. Rockefeller Jr. Memorial Parkway. south entrance of Yellowstone leads right into Grand Teton National Park so I might have to show my uh, America the Beautiful Pass once again. I've arrived here at my camp at the Coulter Bay Campground inside of Grand Teton National Park. It is a national park campsite, so the spaces are very close together. They are pull-through sites, at least many of them are pull-through sites. I've already got my uh, truck unhitched. I don't know if you guys are ever interested in seeing the hitching unhitching process, but I've gotten very good at it. <laughs> I'm really excited about that. Still not so good at backing up, but definitely the hitching and unhitching has gotten really easy for me. I'm only here at this site for one night because they didn't have consecutive nights nights available but for the next two nights I will have the same site so I'll be moving sites in the morning. The reason that I'm here or one of the reasons that I'm here not only because I wanted to see the beautiful Tetons which I absolutely love this area it's one of my favorite areas but I'll also be meeting up with some friends and then we should be going on a backcountry backpacking trip somewhere in the area I don't know exactly where yet <laughs> we're going to determine that uh, when I meet up with them anyhow I think that for this afternoon I'm going to go ahead and get out and do some exploring bring this bad boy hopefully see some wildlife and just see the beauty of the Tetons. I got a little peek of them as I was driving in and they look stunning. I think I need a closer look. A quick word from the sponsor of today's video, Athletic Greens. A big thing about living the nomadic lifestyle and living on the road is that routine goes out the window. It's very hard to maintain routine. You have to be very diligent about doing so. But one thing that's made it very easy for me to at least maintain a healthy routine is AG1 by Athletic Greens. Athletic Greens is a comprehensive all-in-one greens powder engineered to fill the nutritional gaps in your diet and support your body's nutritional needs across four pillars of health, gut health, immune support, energy, and recovery. It's packed with 75 vitamins and minerals and whole food sourced ingredients, combining the perfect amount of micronutrients, absorption, and taste to jumpstart your daily routine. Being a solo female nomad, I have to do all the heavy lifting, so it's extra important that I maintain a healthy routine. My health is everything. AG1 helps to give me the energy and immune support to accomplish my goals. Go to the link in the description now to get a year's supply of vitamin D3, K2, and five travel packs for free with your first purchase. This is a game changer for supporting your immune system. AG1 provides your body with everything it needs for optimal performance every single day. Once again, I'd like to thank Athletic Greens for sponsoring this video. Now back to the show.
Grand Teton National Park is approximately 310,000 acres. The park includes the major peaks of the 40-mile-long Teton Range, as well as most of the northern sections of the valley known as Jackson Hole. It's pretty windy out there. I got a couple of pronghorn and a bison at a very far distance. It's not ideal lighting for shooting right now. However, I just couldn't wait to get out and see the Tetons. After finishing up exploring, I headed to the Coulter Bay General Store, which is right next to the campground, to see if I could grab something for dinner. I had not planned anything for dinner, and luckily they are pretty well stocked. It's dark in here with all these trees, these tall trees. I am back here at camp. I stopped at the general store to grab something for dinner. I didn't have anything planned for dinner. It's something just really simple and kind of plain because I had a little bit of a stomach bug yesterday, so was feeling a little under the weather. And I feel pretty good today, but I don't want to chance it. I just want to take it easy on my tummy. So I just got some cheese ravioli. I'm going to put some freshly grated Parmesan Reggiano on top with some olive oil and that's it. <laughs> I think the plan for tomorrow will be to get up a little earlier and get out. Usually the wildlife likes to come out early in the morning and at dusk. So uh, yeah, I think I'll go out in the morning and maybe have some beautiful lighting and get to see some wildlife, some more wildlife, maybe up closer. <laughs> Also, I'll take a drive a little bit deeper into the park and a little bit closer to the Tetons. Those are the ingredients for dinner tonight. <laughs> Very simple. Okay, drizzling a little olive oil. It's four cheese ravioli, by the way. No meat, <laughs> no nothing spicy. And then freshly grated Parmesan. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed. Top of the morning to you. I slept in this morning because it stays so dark in here under all this tree cover. I love being in the trees, but that's one thing about it is that it does stay dark for a longer portion of the day. It gets dark earlier, gets light later, <laughs> but it's, uh, it's nice. I do like being here. Obviously, I'm still here at camp. One thing that I had forgotten about when I talked about getting an early start out there this morning is that I do need to switch sites today. I'm gonna to be uh, moving from this site to another site within the campground because I didn't have consecutive nights, as I mentioned. So the next site, will I'll be able to stay for two nights. I have to do that by or at 11 is checkout time. So I didn't have time to go out and do the type of exploring that I'd want to do before I'd have to come back here at 11 to move. So I won't be going to do any exploring until after I switch sites. So that's the plan. We're still going to get to the park and see all its beauty, but just a little bit later. <laughs> A viewer recommended that I try these dark chocolate pancakes and I've already had them and they are bomb. That's what's for breakfast this morning. More like dessert than breakfast, but it's fine with me. 
Chocolate is good anytime. Well, ironically, it's about the same time that I got out yesterday. <laughs> By the time I got to camp, got set up, and got a little work done, yeah, it's about the same time. But we are about to head out to do some sightseeing. It's a beautiful day. Grand Teton National Park is named for Grand Teton, the tallest mountain in the Teton Range. It abruptly rises more than 7,000 feet above Jackson Hole, almost 850 feet higher than Mount Owen, the second highest summit in the range. Grand Teton National Park is an almost pristine ecosystem and the same species of flora and fauna that have existed since prehistoric times can still be found here. just stunning here. You really need to see it for yourself to experience the true majesty. <laughs> if you're wondering why I'm not hiking, this is grizzly country and as a rule I do not hike alone in grizzly country. Uh, I have before, however I try not to make a habit of it. I will be doing a backcountry trip as I mentioned and that will most likely be in grizzly country. It's going to be somewhere in this greater Yellowstone area, so there will be hiking, however I will be with a group. <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of Grand Teton National Park. Thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. Stay tuned for some very exciting, bigger adventures coming very soon. As always, I appreciate your support. Thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. And I will see you all on the next one. Love you all. See you soon. Bye-bye.